Hello everyone. Uh, today we will discuss uh, module 2 basic switch and end device configuration. So let us jump start. In this topic you will be uh, we'll be discussing about uh, Cisco IOS access, uh, how to navigate IOS, uh, which are the commands that you need to study in uh, the IOS software, uh, some basic device configuration and how to save uh, the configuration, how to configure IP addresses. So these will be the main things that we'll be studying in this module. Uh, the module name is basic switch and end device configuration. So let us uh, start first. So uh, as we know, uh, in Cisco routers and switches, uh, we use a operating system. The name of the operating system is Cisco IOS. IOS stands for Inter Network Operating System. So as we know, um, every operating system will consist of um, two parts. The first one is the shell, which is the outer part or the user interface part, which will allow the user for entering specific commands so that we can uh, do some task from the computer. Usually uh, the user interface will be uh, a graphical user interface. Uh, which we are familiar in uh, Windows and uh, you know stuff like that. For example, I can just show you the Windows interface. So this is a Windows interface where in which we have icons. Like for example, I can click on uh, this PC to open um, the PC and uh, to show the device drives, the folders, and all those things. I can open files from here. I can delete files. So everything I can uh, access uh, my hardware. I can access the internet by using icons. Everything I can do using uh, graphical uh, user interface. So this is a GUI, Windows a graphical user interface. Uh, same with uh, all the major operating systems that we know, like for example Android, uh, like for example uh, the Macintosh uh, computers, we have uh, again uh, uh, another operating system. So all these uh, basically are graphical user interface. And there are other kind of uh, operating system which runs on command. Uh, like for example, if I enter something uh, like this, you can see with the, where in which you can see the uh, command interface. So the CLS commands you can enter to clear the screen. This is in DOS. Uh, this is uh, again um, another operating system. Uh, or if I want to uh, show the directories, I can write the DIR command. to the directory. If I want to copy, there are commands to move, there are commands. So, uh, so this is the command line interface where you can do specific um, work by entering commands. So all these things uh, run on the shell. So the one that you see over here is the shell, okay, where you can click or we can, where you can uh, run or enter command. Now we have another part which is called as the kernel. The kernel uh, basically uh, is um, a very uh, low level uh, uh, interface language which is used for communicating between the hardware. It can be the uh, CPUs or the chips, it can be your uh, storage devices, can be uh, your uh, CPU or the hard disk and uh, the software that we have uh, and uh, it basically allows communication between the hardware and the shell. Uh, this is the low level uh, programming language or the programs that allow us to manage the hardware resources. And finally we have the hardware. So these are the main three things in the operating system which are controlled. Uh, uh, in the Cisco IOS operating system also. So let us jump start to the graphical user interface as I told you is a uh, uh, graphical uh, interface like for example the windows which allows the user to interact with the system. Uh, it uses icons, it uses menus, windows like that. Then we have uh, the other type of operating system which is the command line interface. Now let us go to the next uh, main topic which is access methods. So here uh, please remember if you want to uh, manage Cisco devices we need the Cisco IOS. Uh, the Cisco IOS can be accessed using uh, three methods as uh, described here. The first one is uh, the console. So for having console what we have to do is that we have to connect the console cable. This is a console cable, the blue color one. Um, the one end of uh, the cable goes to the serial interface of the PC. The other end, which is this end, it goes to the console interface in your Cisco router. Okay, so this is uh, the main 
one of the main uh, port that we always use for performing initial configuration always then uh, once it everything is set up all the configurations are done you can always use the secure shell uh, which uses a secure remote cli connection so remotely you can configure your device using the secure shell okay so it, uh, it is done usually uh, done using um, a network it is done over a network and then we have a telnet uh, is another type of again a virtual uh, remote connection that can be done uh, it gives you command line interface um, for configuring over the network only thing with telnet is that um, there is uh, less security in telnet whereas in secure shell there is more security